Welcome to UPSC Patshala. In this video, we will be discussing all the important current affairs articles of the day, that is the 4th of February 2023, from sources like the Hindu, Indian Express, PIB, etc. In case you want a detailed analysis of this topic, go to the description box below. So without further ado, let's move into the video. So firstly, let us see GS Paper 1 and GS Paper 2, certain important topics that you can link to this part of your syllabus. Firstly, we are going to see why are these articles in the news, some important points in these articles and thirdly, how it is going to be asked in your exam. So first article that we have is with regard to rural and archaeological tourism. Why is it in the news? Because we are showcasing certain villages, certain heritage sites to the G20 that is the tourism working uh, group. Okay, So here it is important to know what are these places that we are showcasing? What is the area that we are showcasing? So firstly is the Larpura Khas. Now where is this place? This is in Madhya Pradesh. And this particular place has also won the best tourism site in terms of the rural area by the United Nations World Tourism Organization. Okay, so it's already got a uh, nominate, has already got a prize for the best rural tourism site. Another village that we have is Konoma. Okay, now Konoma is where? It's in Nagaland. Okay, again, a village in Nagaland. Another site that we have is Dholavira. Okay, now we know Dholavira is a IVC site, Indus Valley Civilization site, known for its water reservoir. So, we had a past year prelims question paper with regard to Dola Vira as well. So, here it is important to understand what is the rural and archaeological tourism and why are we linking it to GS paper 1. Now, rural tourism is something that is showing the non-urban areas, something that is relating to the traditional sites, something that is showing low po population density. Okay, So, showcasing that tourism in terms of the non-urban areas. Similarly, archaeological tourism talks about certain cultural sites. Okay, So, this tourism again is very important for India because we have a number of rural tourism sites as well as archaeological sites. So, something that you can use in your mains answers when you're talking about culture as well as you can expect certain questions for your prelims. Let's understand the next news, something from GS paper 2. Now, right to die. We have seen in the newspaper today that this has come in the Hindu. That is because the Supreme Court has eased down the, uh, you can say, uh, the steps. Okay, so whatever obstacles that were there to get you euthanasia or the right to die with dignity. Supreme Court has eased this process. Okay, so that is why this is uh, prominent in this today's news. So, what is right to die? Right to die is included in which article? That is article 21. Similarly, as we have right to live, we also have right to die. So, this is about euthanasia and only passive euthanasia that is valid in India. So, it's something that you can relate into fundamental rights of your polity GS paper 2 of the syllabus. Let's understand the next news and this is with Sagar Parikrama. Now, why is this in the news? It's because who has launched this Sagar Parikrama? It is the Department of Fisheries. Okay, so Department of Fisheries which comes under Department of or you can say Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy. Okay, so here it is important to understand what is this initiative about? Here, we are having more interaction with the coastal communities, with the farming sectors, which are the, with the fishermen, so that they are aware about various government schemes that are important for them. Something that you can give me an example of? Yes, it is the Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana, which we know in the budget, we have increased the outlay as well. So, Sagar Parikrama is, it's an important, you can say, campaign 
so that the fishermen know the different schemes, the government initiatives. It is also talking about protection of the marine ecosystem. Okay, so in this regard, we are having, you can give this as a beautiful example in your um, government initiatives with regard to the fishermen communities. Let's understand the next news that we can relate in GS paper 2 and that is with regard to prison reforms. Now, why is this uh, article? This can be a beautiful example when you're talking about prison reforms and that is the AI camera that is present in the Tihar jail that is in Delhi. So now they have AI CCTV cameras that are installed in Tihar jail. Now, a lot of times we see certain uh, fights happening between the inmates. Now, why is that so? Because of the overcrowding, but they are not able to actually get these cases. Now, because of this certain cases or because of this technology right here, we can ensure that the number of crimes that happen in the jail can also be reduced. And here you can see an example where we are fighting this overcrowding or ensuring that we're uh, still helping these prisoners is through this beautiful example out here. Now coming to GS paper 3 of the syllabus, we have two important topics. First one is the hydrogen for heritage that we can see in the PIB. This has been mentioned. Now what is this news about? Why is it in the news? This is because Indian Railways has decided to launch around 35 trains which are hydrogen powered. Now, but why is it called hydrogen for heritage? That is because they will be running in hilly and heritage routes of India. So here we need to understand another important uh, measure to support green power, right? Because we know that hydrogen is lowering the greenhouse gas emissions. We have the goal of net zero carbon emission by 2070. So here this is a positive step to reduce the fossil fuel, you can say dependency of India. So it's a very good initiative. Another beautiful example you can expect in your answers. And here you can expect also a prelims question that whose initiative is it? So with the name, you may get confused heritage. So you may link it to culture or tourism. But no, this is with regard to Indian railways. Let's understand the last news that is you can link with GS paper 3. And this is PM Kusum. Now, why is it in the news? It is because we understand the government to boost the rural uh, kind of areas with solar energy. Here, the government has extended the PM Kusum scheme to 2026. Earlier, it was 2022. Now, it has exceeded it to 2026. Now, what is PM Kusum important for your exam, for prelims as well as for mains? Pradhan Mantri Kisan Urja uh, Surakshan Evam Uthan Mahab Abhyan. So this is the full form of it. And what is this related to? It is related to solar energy. That means to increase or boost the solar consumption. Mainly if you talk about in terms of the farmers. Okay. It is helping the farmers mainly to install the grid pattern as well as the solar pumps. Okay. So it will help them to also increase the financial security as well as the water security. So a very important scheme for your exam. So this was all about today's current affairs. In case you want to revise the current affairs of the day, go to the UPSC Partshala app, which is in the description box below. To stay updated with current affairs, stay connected with UPSC Partshala.